So yeah, letting her warm up this morning. What a lovely, lovely day. Beautiful day today. So we got a nice day and no rain. So yeah, on to the first job. Lovely and jubbly. So first job this morning, ripping the, ripping the uh, truck style. Uh, first job this morning, we got a unit and trailer gas tanker. Uh, it's gone into limp mode, so uh, gonna go and pick that one up, take that down to Volvo. So always on the way to the job, I'm uh, just kind of prepping in my head what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get on it, I'm gonna front lift it, chain it down. Um, probably because of where it's um, situated, it's in like a live lane. Um, I'll probably do the half shaft on it instead of the prop shaft, just for safety really. I don't want to be lying underneath a, a fully loaded gas tanker with you know, uh, cars and that coming behind me. Um, people just don't slow down and move over, so you know, everybody could get that in their mentality that you've got a sea recovery truck slow down move over and you know roadside recovery people would be a lot more safer um, but they're not you know the simple plain truths are people just don't give a shit and uh, you know they race up they don't look even with hazards on you could sit there with hazards on and people come and they sit behind you which ain't a great thing for a recovery driver, really, when you're lying underneath and you see stuff coming <laughs> from underneath. Um, so, yeah, we're going to get there, uh, put some brakes on it as well. It's a unit of trailer, gas tank are loaded. Um, I'm not too sure where the trailer's going to go to because I don't think the main dealer's going to take the trailer. So we might end up doing a lap of the M25 because I'm based in Kent. Um, that you know you can't go through to Dartford and I'm not going through London with a fully loaded gas tanker so the only option really is to go the full uh, length for the M25 that's the only way round but we shall see um, onwards and upwards at least it's lovely and I don't have to lay in the rain today which ain't too great looks like I've been laying in the rain already this morning uh, just looking at uh, something on the truck, I had a little cheeky air leak, so I'll fix that, and yeah, we shall uh, see what happens. So, as we're sitting in the traffic waiting to get to this one, I'll just explain a little bit about the YouTube channel. Um, going to bring you some uh, content of all the recovery stuff that we do, uh, the different kinds of lifts, the different kind of vehicles we recover, um, hopefully get you some good uh, footage of you know me doing the job um, I did have 20 videos ready to put onto the YouTube channel but I've since then discovered that you have to voice voice over on them and I haven't <laughs> I haven't voice overed on them uh, so really I, I want to get them done as well um, but we shall, we'll get there. It's, it's a new channel for me. It's a new kind of social media for me. So the TikTok's doing well, the Facebook's doing well. So it's just getting up to scratch to give you good, uh, good content. So you've got to bear with me a little bit, please. <laughs> okay, so we've discovered it's not a gas tanker. It's actually a flatbed. So there he is, in a lovely place, so it's not too bad, we'll uh, go up the road, turn around, get on the front of him, and uh, yeah, get this down to the dealer. So, PTO in. Got this one. All for my YouTube channel. Is it? Yeah. Hello, hello.
right, so that's where we're up to. Um, shaft's out, shaft's all secure on the back of two cable ties. Um, and now we shall crack on to the main dealer. Nice one. Might give her a cheeky little wash later. And brakes on, legs down, airlines off. Now just pull the pin. Right, what I'll get you to do when I pull it out, drop just drop her just till we come off and then I'll get you to put it back on. That's it, you drop her down. So here we are back in the main dealer and just drop off this one only take a couple of minutes to drop this one drop it onto the blocks of wood put the shaft back in and um, roll him off the blocks and he can drive it into position it's only in limp mode so what a result eh So um, on to job number two for the day. I've uh, got a loaded eight wheel grab lorry. Um, ECU's gone on it. It's been sat there for three weeks. Marvellous. And uh, got to try and get it out the yard. Get it out the yard and try and back it in there somehow. And then tow it out around that corner and around the estate. Um, but being loaded is going to be a bit of a <laughs> bit of an ass. But hey ho! Oh, cheeky one pound coin, lovely. Um, so yeah, we we'll see how we get on with this. So we'll be towing the uh, the X Men grab. Look at that. That's quite cool, isn't it? Hey ho! Yay! So we're going to plumb some air into it, straight in the port. Get the old uh, van on it. Just get some air in it. Good old lad. And uh, yeah, we're gonna crack on and try and get it out the yard. Right, so we've arrived safe and sound at Scania Maidstone. I'm um, gonna drop uh, this one off. 
I don't know where they're going to want it. Hopefully they want it on a pit. It'll be nice and easier. We shall see. So there she is, all unloaded. Now we just uh, put the old forks away. Back in the old cubby hole. And done. On to the next one. Oosh. So just called clear. And um, it's lunchtime. My favourite time of the day, as you can tell. Gonna might, might get a, uh, a cheeky lasagna, chips and salad. Try and go a little, little bit healthy, but hey ho. Probably not. Probably just have a big dirty fry up. But uh, we shall see. So uh, yeah, on to this one.